Hey folks, I got this Python question. Uh, I don't actually remember where I got it from, but I wrote it down. So the question is how to avoid premature optimization. I know it is bad, but I keep doing it. So this is an interesting question. Um, if you don't know what premature optimization is, it's kind of the idea that uh, you try you optimize or it's the problem that when you write a program, you spend too much time too early on trying to optimize its performance or you know to make it optimal in some other way, like make the code as clean as possible. I would also say that's uh, premature optimization in, in many cases. Um, but kind of the classical definition is to spend too much time on performance optimization and doing that too early when the program is not finished yet. And um, this is a problem because, well, anytime you spend on polishing your program, there's also the term uh, gold plating, where you spend time adding fancy bells and whistles without actually making the software better at solving the real problem at hand. And uh, this is a problem. And um, it, it's it's in my opinion, it's all kind of rooted in the same the same issue there. So when I catch myself in gold plating mode or premature optimization mode and um, if if the team that I'm working with in if, if the team that I'm working with kind of it finds itself in that mode it, it usually has to do with um, it's almost like procrastination and a lack of direction usually right like if you don't really know what you need to be working on next and what the real goal is that you want to solve it's very easy to you know, to spend time in optimizing stuff and trying to make it as beautiful and as fast as possible, because that's fun. That's like a fun technical exercise, but it's often not really adding real value to the users of your program, or it's not really adding um, real value, period. And a good way around that is to always remind yourself of you know, not doing that essentially. I know this sounds stupid, but you know, it should always be on the back of your head that as developers, we have this natural tendency to get into this premature optimization, a uh, gold plating mode. And it's just something we have to counteract, right? So there are a couple of exercises I guess you can do. One thing that really helped me is uh, to, to start using the Pomodoro technique, which uh, which is a, um, a productivity technique where you give yourself these little time boxes and you try and finish a task within that time frame. And, and what that does for me is that it really keeps me focused on my goal. And you know, if after a Pomodoro period of, of 20 or 40 minutes or however long you pick that after that time box, I wanna have a tangible result. And usually, you know, if I catch myself trying to prematurely optimize stuff, that's that means I didn't set out to do that. You know, when I started my time box and I started like my goal for for the day, let's say, or for the morning was to implement a new feature and I catch myself doing optimization work, then that means something is wrong. I need to readjust, right? Um, I only do optimization work if I purposefully schedule it. Like if I sit down and say, okay, now, you know, this needs to be cleaned up. This needs to be rewritten because it's a liability now and uh, we have to be careful. Or, you know, now we're, we're handing this off to someone else and needs to be nice and clean or now we're shelving it. We know this actually solves the problem. Now we just need to make it nice and, and make, it, uh, make it run fast. So that's kind of one one tactic that I use. Another thing is this idea, and I think it's uh, something that um, Uncle Bob Martin came up with. Um, great guy. Like if you're doing any kind of programming work, definitely look up his uh, his writing and his books. Highly recommended. I learned a ton from him. And um, anyway, so so he has this thing where he talks about make it run, make it right, make it fast. And the idea there is that any kind of development work you do, any kind of programming work you do, you want to get, you know, get something out there, make it, make it run, like get it to compile and get it, get some output. It might be wrong. You know, it might just be some a sketch that you've thrown out there, but it does something. It's a, a basic like foundation you can you can work with um, and then make it right make it actually produce the right result make it produce a useful result and then make it fast you know, you can swap that out for you know make it pretty um, make it um, make it nice and 
that's kind of the priorities that that you have i think whatever you do you know and this this kind of applies at uh, recursively where you want to you want that to be true for your whole application and you want that to be true for any single feature that you're working on at the time and so this is this is something that i keep uh, try to keep myself uh, reminded of. And for a while I had this like, you know, had this written on, on one of my walls, make it run, make it right, make it fast, because I wanted to make that sort of my mantra when I do programming work. So this is something that could also help you if it's just something that you want to remind yourself of. And that has certainly helped me try and not to uh, try not do too much optimization work too early because it's often a waste of time, although it's so much fun, I know. But, um, you know, this person who wrote the question, they identified it as a problem and these are some ways you can get around it. All right, if you enjoyed this video, then hit the subscribe button. And if you want me to tackle your question, then just leave a comment on this video and I will try and cover it in a future video in the series.